Hello. In this screencast, I will demonstrate how to install Nexus IQ in an Amazon Kubernetes cluster. So one assumption to start with is that you already have a role that is has the EKS permission set. Once you have that, then we'll first create a VPC. We're going to base it off of the Amazon sample uh, VPC, which is on their website. Uh, but we did make the change that allows us to have IPs auto-assigned to the to the subnets so that it, the external IP can get created for the service we're going to create. Let's get started. And now we wait for the VPC to be created. Now that that has been created, let's go ahead and create the cluster. Make sure you use a role that has EKS permissions. Then we're going to use the same VPN that we just created. I mean VPN, I mean VPC. Um, in this case, I'm going to disallow um, US East 1A because it will not uh, allow me to provision there. And choose an appropriate security group. And now we wait uh, a, a little while for it to be created. I am watching it over here. Um, once that's created, we will continue with this uh, screencast. Okay, now that the cluster has been created, let's go ahead and create the worker node stack. We're going to be using uh, one of Amazon's uh, templates without modification. Uh, you can find this from uh, uh, on their website. And we will just let's go ahead and call it actually um, Nexus IQ EKS. And the cluster name that we just created. Let's go ahead. And for the known image, we'll use one of Amazon's uh, optimized, uh, EKS optimized images. And cool. I'm going to choose the VPC that we created. And for subnets, let's just go ahead and select all the ones associated with that VPC. Okay. Once again, I will take ownership of this. And we wait for it to be created. Now that our worker nodes have been created, uh, we go into the stack and we look, click on output so we can get the role for these instances. We should copy that. And then we're going to have a Kubernetes uh, config map uh, YAML that will have uh, this information. And then next, we need to configure Kubernetes or Kubernetes CLI uh, to be able to connect to this EKS instance, uh, to this cluster, uh, because uh, in part uh, we have to use CLI because there's no uh, GUI version of it. Uh, so I need to know which one it is. So I'll go ahead and I'll copy the endpoint. And we copy the certificate of authority. Now that those files have been created, let's go ahead and use them. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is actually set an environment variable, uh, cube config, which cube control will go ahead and use uh, to know where our configura configuration file which we created exists. Let's go ahead and test that. Uh, let's just get service. And that's correct. So let's go ahead and apply that authorization config map that uh, um, we created just now. Oh, 
Okay, excellent. So now the next step uh, is to also verify uh, the status uh, of our nodes here. So let's see here. Okay, they are ready. So let's go ahead and I've got here a configuration for uh, IQ server. It just has a single uh, replication controller with one replica for IQ server opening up ports 8070 and 8071 and then a service, a uh, load balancer service, uh, which allows us to have an external IP. So let's go ahead and apply that. Oops. Doing that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and actually let's make a watch here because we now we need to wait for that external IP to get generated. Oh, look at that. That was pretty darn quick since it takes several minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and test that. Um Copy that over, and we want port 8070. Okay, so that has still hasn't been uh, created. I'm still waiting for essentially the uh, um, the IQ server to stand up. So actually, the problem here right now is that the ELB's DNS uh, has not been uh, propagated just yet. So we're really kind of waiting for all the DNS servers to uh, sync up. And there we have it. Sometimes Nexus IQ server has been deployed in Kubernetes. Now everything after this is pretty much standard. I hope this has been useful. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.